Since the economic approach describes the first approach to the brand management, it is important to understand the line of thought underlying this approach to know the foundations of how so far the brands have been managed. In 1930, a fast-moving consumer product manufacturer company gave the life to the first brand management approach was mainly borrowed from neoclassical economics and classical marketing theory. The first belief, the first fundamental concept in the economic approach was that the right marketing mix will generate an optimal sales. It is so exciting to know that how this came into picture. In 1964, Neil Borden first introduced the marketing mix concept when he introduced the 12 factors uh, that management should consider when planning and implementing the marketing strategy. These 12 factors reflected internal considerations and relevant market forces in relation to marketing strategy. It was a framework constructed to guide managers and to help them structure the planning and implementation of marketing strategy. Later, this framework was narrowed down into the four P's framework we know today. The four P's reflecting product, place, price and promotion. During the mid and late 80s, Research focus was directed towards exploring how different factors on the marketing mix affect consumers' brand choice. This essential to know an overview of the key themes and concepts that have shaped the economic approach and its applicability in practice. Brand managers, hence in the economic approach, have the four P's at their disposal to create a strong brand and optimize brand performance. The second assumption in the economic approach is that the brand can be controlled and managed by the company itself. If management gets the marketing mix right, then the brand will be successful and strong. Consumers in this approach are perceived to be more or less passive receivers of marketing messages. This perception of the consumer is associated with how the concept of economic man perceives exchanges of goods and consumption. The third assumption of economic approach is consumers analyze and evaluate brand messages rationally. It is assumed that the individual will always pursue self-interest and make consumption decisions that are based on rational parameters. It is assumed that consumers choose a product which deliver utility maximization and hence make the best rational choice possible. In a consumption and brand management context, it means that a consumer will always go for the deal that provides the best functional utility compared to the price of the product. The fourth belief on which marketeers base their practice in economic approach is that consumers are able to oversee all available choices, but also they are also able to evaluate all these choices and choose the best deal from a rational point of view. The fifth key point of discussion is the theory of transaction cost, which again display the behavior of transaction cost are hence barriers to utility maximization. It is too difficult to find and buy the product, then the consumer might choose another product even though it might not deliver maximum utility compared with the other products or compared with the price. In the economic approach, it is therefore crucial that transaction costs are minimized. 
the marketer can do this by ensuring that right product at the right price is made known to the consumers and ensures that the product itself is available at all relevant point of contact with the consumer through adequate brand management. This will ensure that consumers are always aware of the product whenever they need it and that they have easy access to purchasing the product. The sixth assumption is that the communication between the brand and the consumer is perceived to be linear and rather functional because once a certain frame has been set by the marketeer in the shape of a product price and a placement and promotions, it is expected that consumers will respond with a certain brand choice behavior. Consumption is hence perceived to be the result of consumers' desire of goods and services and is not influenced by social interaction, culture or the well-being of others. This is why very rational factors like awareness, price and income are perceived to be the key factors in the economic approach. When consumers make consumption, that exchange is hence perceived to consist of the transaction without interactivity. In fact, very few or no external uncontrollable factors are included in the theoretical apparatus. The approach has been subject to since its foundation and application in the context of brand management. The marketing mix approach has in many ways dominated the marketing environment. In practice, managing a brand according to the theory of marketing mix means that companies believe that by manipulating a series of interrelated marketing decisions, the marketing manager can target and position the products within a defined marketing segment which will respond in a planned and desirable manner. The consumer reacts to the marketing mix and doesn't engage in any interaction with the company as such. Hence, as a planning and execution tool, the marketing mix is indeed considered to be appropriate. The downside is, however, Using the marketing mix as the primary marketing tool to manage brands can result in a rather short term focus because of the extensive emphasis on the next transaction. The marketing is concerned with hooking new clients and sales figures and the exchange between the brand and the consumer is reduced to the isolated transaction. The brand building qualities are however difficult especially from the field of service branding. In service marketing it is clear that other rules of the game apply. In service marketing it is clear that other rules of the game apply. Interaction with the consumer is perceived as an ongoing relationship rather than an, an isolated transaction and individual exchanges. Hence, the economic approach doesn't like the other approaches where consumption satisfies the more emotional and irrational wants and desires. Economic approach represents a push-like approach where some of the other approaches represent a pull-like approach to the brand strategy.